So here we go. Eight shares, review, swipe up. What's up guys? It's Chris here from the Ovation of the Seas Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. I'm so excited today to talk about Royal Caribbean to see if it's a good investment, look at the company, see if it's worth it um, with another episode of Investments on Location. Let's check it out. So, you know, I'm just an average 20 year old. I'm not, I don't work for Royal Caribbean. It's not an ad, it's not a sponsored video. I'm just an interested investor and Royal Caribbean is a strong company. I've always cruised with Royal Caribbean. I've always loved Royal Caribbean. And I'm just trying to dig a little deeper to see if it's a good investment or not. The reason why Royal Caribbean stock caught my eye is because I've always loved Royal Caribbean. It's such a great company. The thing is, it's been beaten up over the past year. Um, over the past five years, the growth has been insane. But over the last year, it's stagnated. Now, what's really interesting is over the past three months, it's just been beaten up consistently down. Um, and the price right now is about 113. So this caught my eye. I looked deeper into it and I was thinking, is it a buy? And so luckily, we're on this Royal Caribbean vacation and I got some insight into the stock, into the company. So we're in the Windjammer Cafe right now. It's actually one of the best places to eat on, uh, on the ship. Unlimited food, buffet, can't get better than that. The great thing about World Caribbean that I found is in the news, there's a lot of growth, a lot of growth. Recently, World Caribbean's sister company, Celebrity, came out with their Celebrity Edge ship. One billion dollar ship. That's right, one billion dollars. That's what it costs to make ships nowadays. Um, and this ship is full of innovation, just like the Ovation of the Sheets is full of innovation. What I found with my research is that Royal Caribbean puts half of all of its profits in the innovation. Just like here on the Ovation of the Seas, we have the iFly simulator, which is like skydiving. We have the North Star, which brings you 300 feet into the air. We have all these innovative things that you don't see anywhere else. Um, you also have the Flow Rider, you have these innovative restaurants. Innovation is the name of the game when it comes to Royal Caribbean. And that's what sets them apart. What's really great about Royal Caribbean is they're focusing not only on innovation, but they're focusing on what's best for the environment. Their new icon style ship, which is the new fleet of ships coming out in 2022, has clean energy with uh, very little emissions to the environment, which is gonna be huge going forward. Something else that's really important to note with Royal Caribbean is... <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Something else that's... Thank you, man. Something else that's really important to note with Royal Caribbean and just the cruise industry in general, let's keep walking, is that with the aging population in the US and across the world, people are looking for luxury vacations. And with cruise and leisure activities like these, it doesn't get better than that. That's why my projection, a lot of analyst projections, see the cruise industry just growing exponentially. We've already seen exponential growth in the cruise industry and it's just gonna get more and more. Yeah. <laughs> So a little word of caution, and what actually got me concerned when I was looking at this stock and this company in general, is the last time we had a recession, back about a decade ago, Royal Caribbean stock dropped almost 90%. It went down to about $40. And that's really scary, given the current situation of our economy. So that has me a little bit concerned. You know, you always wanna be cautious when you're investing. But on that note, looking at the ship and walking around and seeing the infrastructure of Royal Caribbean itself, I don't see this company going anywhere. Now another thing to worry about is the debt. Royal Caribbean has a really large amount of debt because they're always buying new ships, they're buying new renovations, new ways to make their ships better and to improve. Now this debt is worrisome for investors and I'm not gonna lie, I'm worried about it too, but seeing the product of that debt and seeing what they're buying and what they're investing in as a company, it makes me feel a little better about this company, a little better about this investment, knowing that they're pretty sure to get a return. Part of the reason that I want to do these investments on location segments is because when you're actually in the location, you're actually seeing the product or the service of the company, it changes your perspective of the actual stock and the stock price because it gives you a feel of what they're offering. Now, the Ovation of the Seas is the fourth largest Royal Caribbean ship in their fleet. It holds nearly 5,000 passengers. But the great thing about this ship it doesn't feel like there's 5,000 passengers. The way the ship's laid out, different activities, everything feels very spread out, very open, not crowded. What I like about Royal Caribbean too is they're committed to quality. Their services, the staff, and the food are all top notch. The staff, you feel like your friends. They talk to you, you get to know them, they learn your name. The food's high quality, you have 
different sh different restaurants all across the ship, and the shows are also phenomenal. Something else I really want to mention is that Royal Caribbean's all across the world. This ship, the Royal, um, Royal Caribbean Ovation of the Seas, actually was stationed in China originally. Um, it came from Germany, went to China, and now it's based off of Seattle, going to Alaska. Um, and that's not all. Royal Caribbean focuses on all across the world, all across the nation, going from Alaska to the Caribbean to international cruises. They are international and they don't plan to stop. They plan to keep expanding along with the market because the market is definitely there. Wow, that's so cool. That's just an example of how Royal Caribbean never stops innovating and just creating the best experience for their guests. So we're here with Joff and Angel, uh, two of the people who have made our cruise experience the most magical experience that we could have asked for. Hello. And uh, I just wanted to ask them, uh, what stands out about Royal Caribbean and what's your favorite part about working here? Well, I've been with the company for 12 years, since 2008. Um, the company is great, the company is very bold. It's 50 years old this year, in fact, 50 years and bold. Um, it's about designing new, innovative, uh, contemporary and different ships, you know, just not like the standard. Absolutely. They want guests to walk on and say, wow, and I know you've done that this cruise. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, it's all about shipbuilding and just being the best company possible. Great, thank you, John. And yeah. Angel, what about you? Yeah, for me the same. It's so great to be proud to walk back to the ship and think that's where I live, that's where I work. I do this uh, since 2008 together with my husband and what I really love about Pearl Caribbean is that they are able to keep the couples together and doing it together, creating such a great uh, atmosphere for the people who work here but also the guests. Awesome. Yeah? Thank you so much guys, really appreciate it. Alright, so looking around the ship, talking about all the perks of Royal Caribbean, I've come to the conclusion that Despite the large amount of debt that they have, and despite some of the recent news and tragedies that Royal Caribbean has been facing, I really think Royal Caribbean has a strong foundation as a company. They have a lot of growth potential with 18 ships in the works and in the plans to be made, and a lot of innovation that's going to really set them apart in the cruise ship industry, which is just growing by the day. So what I've done is I've taken $1,000 out of my Acorns account, which I've been using to save up for real estate. And I'm gonna take this thousand dollars, putting it into my Robinhood account, and I'm gonna go ahead and invest in about eight or nine shares of Royal Caribbean. Um, I'm gonna do that here on camera. The one thing is, is that I a little bit frugal, and I didn't get the uh, internet package. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this purchase when I get to the airport. So stay tuned, and you'll see that there. As a disclaimer, I want to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just me, a 20 year old on my own financial independence journey and sharing with you what I'm doing and my thoughts on the Royal Caribbean company. All right, we're here in the, um, in the airport right now. We just finished our Royal Caribbean cruise and I gotta say, it was an amazing experience. It was great being able to actually see the company, see the infrastructure and actually really get a good grasp on what this company is offering to its, uh, to its clients and to its guests. I have to say, seeing what they're about, learning about their revenue. I really love this company and I'm all in. I'm going to invest $1,000 into this company. I've got to say, hearing that they make $12 billion, $12 billion a year in revenue, and over half of that goes into innovation, it really, that's my favorite part about this company. Also, they just released their earnings um, and they beat their expected earnings. Um, they also talked about uh, their guests and occupancy and they actually are over 109% occupancy on all of their cruise ships, meaning that they're consistently getting repeat customers, repeat guests, and I really love the sound of that. I also really want to briefly touch on a couple other things I love about this company that really make this a buy for me. Um, number one, I have to say, it's their redo of their private island, Coco Cay. It's so different than Disney or Carnival's private island where you go to the beach, there's a volleyball court, um, and that's it. With Royal Caribbean, they added a water park, they added four or five new beaches, new bars, five or six new restaurants. Um, it's a whole entire perfect day experience that makes people and entire families draw to this location. It really makes it a place that you want to go and you want to stay. I also want to talk about number two is Royal Caribbean sustainability program. They talk about by 2020, they want to reduce 35% of their emissions into the atmosphere and they are, their goal is to get as sustainable and as eco-friendly as possible. And I love the sound of that. That's the direction we're heading. Overall, Royal Caribbean's marketing to families and they're marketing to really just everyone with their private islands, with their services, their offerings, the different ships, and their growth. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and purchase this World Caribbean stock. I have um, my Robinhood app pulled up, if you can see right here. The price today dipped a little bit, um, which is actually great for me, a great time to buy to 110. Um, like I said, over the past year, especially over the past three months, World Caribbean stock has dropped significantly, which is great as an investor because I see huge long-term potential. One thing I want to note about Royal Caribbean stock, as I mentioned before, one thing to be aware of is the last time we had a recession, the stock plummeted 80 to 90 percent, which is a little scary for investors and a little scary for me since I'm going to be putting such a large amount into this stock. Well, for me, $1,000 is a lot. Um, but one thing, one great thing to remember is when a stock dips, not to be concerned because this is a great time to average down, consistently buying and averaging your price down. So you're not losing that much money because you're actually decreasing your price and averaging with the market. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this buying process. Like I mentioned, I took $1,000 out of my Acorns account, which is my savings account for real estate, and I'm putting it right into this Royal Caribbean stock because I believe in this company, and that's just me personally. Um, one note I wanna say, you don't have to be a big shot investor. You don't have to have a lot of money to begin investing in the stock market. I'm only using $1,000. A lot of times I'll only do 500, 100, whatever you have, it's great to go ahead and get started. But I'm gonna go ahead and make this big purchase. This is the biggest stock purchase I've ever done. That's about $885. That's just short of a thousand. I could do nine, but I actually don't have enough buying power at the moment. So here we go. Eight shares, review, swipe up. There we go. Awesome. All right, so I do wanna say one more note. This is actually Friday after hours. Um, I don't usually buy after hours market, and when I do buy after hours, I like to buy on Weeble. But I'm, I love Robinhood, and because I plan on holding the stock long term, I'm okay with buying it after hours. If there's small fluctuations over the weekend, small fluctuations on Monday, I'm okay with it because I plan on holding the stock over the long term. Royal Caribbean, to me, is a long-term buy and hold. We just hit the 50-year anniversary on the Royal Caribbean ship when we were actually on it. And to me, it just showed how much growth and innovation this company has had over 50 years and it's just gonna continue to have. So thank you so much for joining this journey with me. I'm so glad you were here. Um, if you liked it, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and decimate that like button. And follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty much daily. And uh, check out our website, lifestyledesigndaily.com. Here you'll see some of the best lifestyle tips for uh, your daily life. Um, and if, go ahead and put in the comments if you have any ideas of what I should do next and what you want to see next. Thank you so much again and uh, catch you next time. Call me a Royal Caribbean investor.